Uh, good morning. Welcome to a short demonstration of Cephex Demise in Ultimate Reality, a modern building for Skyrim. We start on the square with the floating gate, as it's called. There's actually uh, another area that we can take here, which is not really exciting to see there. And there's uh, four streets going from the central square to four directions. This is the tavern it's on the other side of the square. This building will be an inn. And now I'm starting to put some clutter around here. And this will be a building vendor. And as in the original alternate reality, when you're walking around the square, you can hear the smithy. And the closer you get, the louder the noise. This was one of the cool features of alternate reality back then. Anyway, it's also yes. my first functional <laughs> vendor. Take a look. I buy things from him. I haven't really changed his inventory yet and stuff, but I will try to make it. I so there will be basically only one weapon you can afford in the beginning of the game, being the dagger. And from there you'll have to work your way up. Good little statue here. So here's the, uh, the North Street. Uh, this is another vendor location. And the North Street has a connection to the palace here on the right hand side, just like the original. You know, the palace is bigger than that, but the drawing distance is not very high on my PC. There you go. Some may recognize it as the Bard's College. From now on, it's going to be the palace. Of course, over here, there must be another smithy and a house of ill repute. <laughs> I will be putting that into the game. I've created a totally new world for this. So, um, I terraformed the entire uh, island. There's areas around this area, this city obviously, and around the city, there's the wilderness. Uh, as you can see, there's a wall around the city, which you can jump over to the night. And there are, on each end of the main street, there's an exit to the, uh, to the sewers. So which can take you to the dungeon, etc. Here you'll see some unfinished work. That looks funky because I've written here on the ground Arena. It's a healer's uh, cabin later. So the arena will be built here. Um, the rest of the city is pretty much unfinished. I've mainly put buildings everywhere to define the roads and how big everything's going to be, etc. Um, now that I have my first functional vendor, I guess it's time to start doing interiors. I'm sure you can actually go into most of these buildings. Just flat as you can see. So maybe areas as well. This is still pretty empty. This is what we filled up. This is one uh, quarter of the city. Okay. Oh, this wall seems to be floating a little bit. This house is also still floating. As you can see, I've just been running around placing everything very quickly. This is going to be another inn. And this is another empty area, one of the squares. As you may be able to read here, this is the place where I will 
And it will be a sewer system that goes around the entire city. So basically, the, the city itself has been built. Um, once you get outside of this area, the city, the wilderness is quite big. It's a mountainous area. Um, the dungeon will obviously be sitting just under the city, but the, the wilderness will provide enough area for more and more quests. I'm hoping actually that the total playtime of my mod is going to be uh, somewhere between half of what Skyrim was to uh, the full length of Skyrim. And I'll achieve this by not making tons of dungeons, but actually lots of areas where you have to go back and monsters will start to respawn a lot. This way you'll have to level up your character and get strong enough to head out into the wilderness. Everything's speaking in the palace, etc. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Stay tuned. I will provide more videos as soon as my mouth is more along the way. Thanks for watching.